We really look at capacity planning as ensuring that the physical resources of the data center are able to meet the business demands today and tomorrow in a, in a solid economic manner, so cost effectively. And that's really what we focus on with Vista. So to really be sure that to the data center, the infrastructure is right-sized and being leveraged to deliver whatever it can today. You're getting the most out of your infrastructure investment today. And to be able to look ahead and know when you're going to need additional investment and where you want to make that investment, how to most economically make that investment. That's really what, what we look at when we look at capacity management from a VISTA, from a physical infrastructure perspective. So with all that's happening with the economy, people taking a very hard look at, at, at cost and and what they're spending on their data centers. How has that affected um, all the issues around uh, uh, capacity planning? You know, a lot of times, what we're hearing a lot from our customers today is everybody ha leaves a certain amount of, let's use the term, headroom in their data center. So if they have a certain amount of capacity for power or space or cooling, they leave a certain amount of headroom just to ensure it doesn't impact availability. That amount of headroom is being pressed harder and harder today. So finance and CFOs are asking people in the data center, do I really need to leave that much headroom? Why can't I get away with 10% headroom instead of 20%, let's say? Because if you can reduce your headroom from, 10 to, from 20 to 10%, you can buy back over 10% of your infrastructure investment and get more out of your current data center. So everybody is being asked how they can manage more and more effectively. And we really see this as being just better management better understanding where you are, understanding how close you can come to the edge without taking too much risk for the business. Um, so our uh, company is pushing it a little closer to the edge and, and uh, trying to, to tighten up on, on capacity in ways that they wouldn't have? You know. they, they are trying. They're being pushed that way by finance. The real question is what we hear from a lot of our customers is, well, if something goes down, finance right. doesn't lose their jobs. It's the data center people that lose their jobs. So it really is a question of giving people the confidence that they are managing things the way they have to so they can make those decisions. And it may not be as drastic as going from 20% headroom to 10%. It could be simply 20% to 17%. But even a small move like that does buy you a lot when you're talking about investment of tens or hundreds of millions of dollars in the data center and all the equipment in the data center. So people are being pushed, and right now they're really trying to get an understanding of where am I? Because it almost comes down to that management argument, which is if you really can't understand where you are, you don't know if you're, if you're doing things well or not. Right. Now, one of the, the big issues is with you know, capital constraints being what they are, that uh, the cost of building a new data center or, or expanding right now is, is, is very difficult. How does that play into uh, capacity planning and what people are looking to uh, to Aperture and his products to kind of solve? Well, the, the, it's exactly it. The other kind of have a capacity planning isn't just understanding how to use what you've got today, but it's looking to the future. And what we found is you really need to understand where you've been, where you are today, so you get those historical trends, and then you want to align that not just with where the trends are going to go, but actually with forecasts from the business. So if the business says, this is what I'm thinking about doing, or this is what I'm going to do, whether it's a, a move, a consolidation, or even decommissioning certain equipment, what, you, what people want to do is find out, when is that going to impact me in terms of key resources in my data center? So for example, when am I going to run out of space? When am I going to run out of power? When am I going to need a new data center? And the better you can get that visibility, the better you can manage capital expenditures, the better you can manage costs. Because again, you may need, excuse me, two, two years or three years advance to really know when you need that new data center to be built right. to avoid going to co-location space, which can be expensive, or, to, or also to avoid building it too soon. And you know, not knowing that you could have waited an extra six months. And in that case, the time value of money really adds up. Right. Now, one of the things that, that your software does is provide some visualizations, uh, visualizations along these lines. Uh, we got these these cool uh, big uh, big screens up here with uh, that shows uh, some of it. Maybe you could tell us what we're looking at and what it, uh, you know, what uh, what kind of uh, information uh, folks can get about their data centers. Sure. What Aperture Vista really does is it creates a detailed model of what you got in your data center, of really what's within the four walls. So understanding all the equipment, what it is, where it is, understanding what your capacities are, your power capacity, your cooling, your space. And what you can see here is this screen just simply shows a detailed drawing of equipment in a rack. 
Now, once we have this, what you can imagine is this can then scale out, and you can start understanding how much space is available within each rack, how much space is available on the floor. Because we manage power, you can also understand how much power do I have available? Because we know exactly how much power is coming in, we know how the power is being distributed, even down to the phase level. You can start understanding where do I have capacity for power? And then once you start seeing that, then it's just a question of understanding what equipment needs to be put in or taken out in the future and translating those IT requirements into facility physical resource requirements. And that's really the key point around capacity management. Is what Vista lets you do is translate requirements from the IT side in terms of servers into physical requirements in terms of space, power, cooling, even weight. And that's really what Vista lets you do. And hopefully this screen at least shows you a little bit of the detail you can get into with the scale drawings. Now, I know that with uh, this kind of software, you're usually updating with new kind of features and things all the time. What are the things you're hearing from, uh, from uh, customers or, that are interested in and and what kind of new features might, uh, might you be looking at down the road? You know, a lot of what we're looking at now is, again, helping people just get better with that management. So really in answer to the economic questions and the capacity questions, how do I better do what I'm doing today? How do I optimize my data center? And what we're really looking to do is integrate a lot of the information that's happening real time in the data center, whether it's from Libre Site Scan, which is on some of these other screens, some of the other Libre monitoring products, or really any product that you might be using to monitor, whether it's a point solution or a building management solution, but bringing that information in and really making your model even more accurate so therefore you can manage it to a greater degree of accuracy, a greater degree of precision. Okay, listen, Steve, thanks for, uh, for telling us a little bit about Aperture and what you see going on in uh, the capacity planning part of the, the business. Okay, thanks a lot.